Thank you for tuning in to another Vulcan Report. This is a special edition. It's not really a Vulcan Report. Um, I got a lot of questions about how to set up the charts that I, that I use for the videos on Thinkorswim. Um, I just know that I did it. I'm not an expert on Thinkorswim. So I'm going to go through this video and just show you basically what I have. And you can tweak it, do whatever you want to with it. Um, but I do need to put a note in here. Uh, this is not the pulse wave system in any way shape or form it is just some technical indicators I put on an overlay of the candlestick charts to help paint a picture of the analysis for those that are watching or just listening or whatever so that's what this is for okay these indicators are not proprietary they're standard moving averages and parabolic uh, stop and reverse and Kumo Cloud, which is part of the ICMO system, and Wells Wilder's uh, RSI, and then here's volume. It's really not rocket science. It's really not difficult. It's just how I have things set up, all right? So, um, but this is not the system. It does not reflect any aspect of the system. It's just charts to help you see what I'm trying to explain in the videos. That's it. I can technically use just about any technical indicator on the planet I can use MACD I can use hundreds of different things I just chose these because I like the way it looks that's pretty much it in a nutshell is there's no no secret behind it alright so uh, also I'm going to attempt to do some things uh, tomorrow which is the election day I'm gonna be out and about so I won't probably be able to do any videos until the evening or that night or something um, I have to think about some kind of way to put in a video. I don't know what I'm going to do. A lot of people are doing election coverage and all that stuff. Uh, to be honest with you, I could give a darn. Okay, so back to the video. All right, so this is your parabolic stuff. All right, I think you go here in the studies. Um, and let's go to edit studies. All right, so, okay, here you can see what I have okay I have the standard parabolic SAR alright I don't change anything I don't mess with the settings here's the the, the Ikimoko I don't change any settings whatsoever all I did was hide the standard line studies that come with the with the itchy system um, that's it I don't I didn't do anything else but just hide I hide the uh, the Tenkin the, the Cajun this you know, and the and the and the, and the, and the, and the Chico, I, I had all that. All I wanted to show in, in here was the Kumo cloud. That's it. All right, here's the first moving average, second moving average, and third moving average. It's really, really simple. I used the high low divided by two, 18 period, high low divided by two, five period, and a high low divided by two, 52 period. That's it. Don't mess around with anything with any of the settings on the on the the Wilder's RSI. Uh, the settings is 280 and 20. That's it, and I'm using the closing price. It's really all it is to it. And then you can add whatever colors you want. All right, um, that's that's it. Uh, so like on the five period. All right, that's the blue uh, trend line on the chart. The 52 period is the orange trend line on the chart. The 18 period is the magenta or purple or pink line, whatever color you want to call it. That's all that is. And then the Wilder's RSI, uh, that's you know the thing at the bottom. That's self-explanatory. And then the parabolic SAR, I don't touch any of the settings. Whatever the standard setting is, this is it. I don't touch it. Only thing I did was um, was maybe I think color to make it look white or whatever you want to call that color or gold whatever that's it I don't mess with any of the settings this is it um, I think what you do when you get up when you open first open this thing up you just go to um, you know you go to studies and then you go to um, you know to add a study and then it has all the studies you can go here I think um, you have to play around with it and find out where everything is but I think it's like um, Upper and yeah, upper and lower studies. Upper studies is the studies they're gonna put on the top of the chart. 
and then the lower studies obviously is what they put underneath the chart where the where the uh, the Wilder's RSI goes so under the upper studies you know here it is here you see the uh, the Ikimoko there at the bottom right hand corner which is right here and then let's see here I think um, under your moving averages you know you pick you find that and then the parabolic SAR you don't see it it's below the screen but anyway I mean that's really it man it's not difficult it's not difficult that's that's it I know I've done videos on this before but that's it it's not complicated um, and then your charts will look like mine is it, the one you're looking at now is a daily chart of dust from my previous video I didn't change the chart I just left it up there um, you can put any time period you want but I mean that's it that's that's what I do that's what I use for the videos I could switch it up and use a MACD tomorrow I don't know I, I, this is just what I like as far as for my presentations on my videos that's it and um, it, it, it helps to paint the picture and so you can see what I'm doing and then of course I color coded my candles you know to the the green and the red that's it and I like the the black background I like that so that's it this is what it is it's not rocket science it's not a big secret because it's nothing it's standard technical indicators that come with just about every charting package on the planet all right so that's it this is how I set up my chart all right any questions further questions uh, you know we can talk about it in the trading room also don't forget too it's in your insert uh, I think it's what is it called Dex's uh, links or something but that PDF pull that up and you'll see I think the settings and stuff is on there too so that's about it all right so peace